What a baffling dream. I should now be at Paperfold University, right? That doesn't sound like something that happened in Penacony. It seems more like a dream bubble. Uh, those monkeys you were talking about? Is that them? Uh, I knew you had to be talking about Slumber Nana Monkey! Allow me to introduce you to the most popular little guy in Paperfold University. It's more beloved than Clocky. Slumber Nana Monkey likes goofing off and loves eating bananas. It lives a carefree life in the moment of Slumber Nana. Is it also a cartoon character created by the Watchmaker? Uh, no, no. It only appeared recently. It's a... Uh, uh, what's it called again? A meme... Uh, a meme! No one knows where it came from. It just blew up overnight. Fans made up... Bananies that only fellow fans would understand, and even created sticker packs and fan works. Uh, the most popular one is the Slumber Nana song. Bananana, bananana. <laughs> of course, I'm a college student who keeps up with the times. How do you know so much? Uh, from the campus group chat, of course. I joined the group before school even started, so I'd get to know more people. That's just common sense. Uh, you'll have a hard time making friends at school if you stay out of touch. Here, I'll add you two to the group. It's almost time. Let's proceed to admissions. <laughs> Come on, let's go! A spectacular campus life awaits us! Why is the family running a school in a dream anyway? Do people really come to the planet of festivities just to study? Paperfold University was established during the pioneering era. It was initially a training ground for Dreamweavers and was founded by Glocks, head of the Nightingale family. And later on, the Iris and Alfalfa families also got involved in university operations, and the education landscape expanded into the three academies we have today. Dreamweaver, Charmony, and fortune. From there, Paperfold University became known as the top art school in the cosmos. Paperfold University's motto is Color Your Dreams, Free Your Ideals. What we see before us reaffirms those words. Hmm. We still have some time before the anniversary celebration's opening ceremony. Let's take a look around. Thank <laughs> you. 
students, how are you? Uh, what is that? Did I scare you? Sorry, I'm Assistant Nana 416 from the Welcoming Committee. Assistant Nana? Like a teacher's assistant? It's Bananies. Students are in love with Slumber Nana Monkey right now. So our faculty did our homework and changed up our image. Banana. Why are the faculty in Paperfold University from the Sweet Dreams troupe? Most of the teachers are attending the academic conference during the school's anniversary. That's why the dean asked the Sweet Dreams troupe to be substitute teachers. Banana. Don't you worry. The banana advisors come loaded with the memories of the senior professors. Our banana academic standards remain top notch. No need to worry about studies right now, though. Please enjoy the Dreamlight anniversary first. Banana. I sure will. I wasn't planning to study anyway. <laughs> That's a bold declaration. <laughs> That's all right. Paperfold University is a school of freedom. Spend your youth however you'd like. My beautiful dance moves. Slumber Nana Monkey is so cute. Oh, are you Slumber Nana Monkey's right banana too? You could say I'm more of a fresh banana than a ripe banana. Is that a plush next to you? I bought this from the creator's market. Doesn't it look realistic? The booth owner said this design is especially popular and really hard to get. Oh, so cute! I want one! I'll go take a look when I get the chance. Nice to meet you. My name is Dan Hung. Oh gosh, I recognize you! You're this season's festive superstar! Oh, you're famous! I never thought I'd go to the same school with someone famous! I bet you'll be assigned to the Charmony Academy. Assigned? Ah, it refers to the tuning test. At the entrance ceremony, the family's members will analyze the potential of students through tuning and assign them to the appropriate academy. <laughs> Calm down. It's not a real exam. Aww, the family assigns every student their major? Doesn't sound very harmonious to me. Don't worry. If a student disagrees with the result, they can apply for a transfer to another academy. It's just that most people don't. The pressure is high, even in a dream. Not to mention competition has grown fierce ever since Panacone relaxed their entrance reviews after the place went public. Most of us are just grateful the family is willing to guide us. Uh, that's reality for you. Anyway, let's change the subject. Are you going to attend the Dean's speech? My friends and I are going to check out the Creator's Market, so I won't be joining you. They're not taking attendance anyway. See you later. Bana! Uh, the teachers and students here sure are <laughs> unique. Uh, all right, you old bogey. Uh, look at the time. The anniversary celebration's opening ceremony should be starting soon. Let's go see the Dean. Look, <gasps> Dean is going on stage. What? Way. The dean is a... Uh, uh, Hello, students. Or should I say, Ben and <laughs> What is going on? 
going on? Is this a gag? Uh, that's just a mascot head, right? I'm Professor Primo. You may also call me by my more fashionable moniker, Prof Nana. Hmm. <laughs> Did I surprise you? Don't worry, students. I have not gone mad. The reason I'm appearing before you like this is to show our new students the ethos of Paperfold University. Color your dreams. Free your ideals. Ah, <sighs> lovely aspiration. But I hear that the words ring hollow nowadays. The pressure of schoolwork has kept all of you from looking up at the beautiful starry sky of the dreamscape. My schedule for the semester is packed. All I do is eat, study, and sleep. It's so hard to prepare for my thesis defense. I'm stuck on my thesis. My dear students, this is not the way. This is not how youngsters in the land of the dreams should behave. So today, I bring you good news. After some discussion, the teaching research team has come to a unanimous decision to cancel all courses and exams for this semester. Everyone who attends the school anniversary will earn their credit. Yes, do not doubt your ears, young ones. Freedom. This is what Paperfold University yearns to teach you. Leave your worries over school and life behind and express yourself. Spread the love of your favorite things, such as Slumber Nana Monkey, to every corner of the campus. Welcome to the dreamlike anniversary. Color your dreams. Free your ideas. <laughs> Looks like Paperfold University is more open-minded than the rumor said. But we will see it coming. The tuning test is up next. Let's go. The waiting area is in the open classroom. Settle down, settle down. Please, quiet down. This way, look this way, please. Get back to your seats. Turn off all recording devices. Get ready. The film is about to begin. Hello, cast members. I am your director for this exam. You may call me Mr. Wrecker. It's the name I commonly use in the end credits. Uh, Mr. Rekka, please mind your verbiage. You're not on set. This is a classroom. No good! Cast members of the family, do remember that everywhere I stand is a set. Oh my god, it's him! It's Mr. Rekka and the fish! Members, please remember your lines. I'm currently playing the role of a guest lecturer, and you are my students. Please stay in character. Uh, this guy looks familiar. Oh, I think I saw a picture of him in the Blue Hour. He's a really famous director, I think. Ah, Mr. Rekka. He's known for works such as Soul Shattered Dark Star, A uh, Fading Nebula, and the famous Knights of Miniature. Huh? I thought you only watch documentaries. His works are based on real life events. They are worth referencing. Uh, let me see what the script for this scene says. The examiner hmm, presides over the exam as the family tunes the students to discover their talents within their soul's melody. Oh. 
Boring. I'm changing the directions of this scene. Cast members of the family? That's a wrap for you. W what? But tuning is the most important segment of the tuning test. Huh? Miss Sedina, in your 13 years and four months of teaching, you've committed seven counts of academic fraud. It seems your laziness has turned your artistic integrity into a pile of decaying film. What? Uh, uh, academic fraud? What are you talking about? This scene will determine the students' very futures. Yet your academy would have me produce such slop. It's no wonder the Iris family hasn't produced a good film in centuries. Uh, enough! You're only here as an examiner because of the acting dean. You can't dictate what we do. A according to academy regulations, According to Academy regulations. Think carefully now. What do the Academy regulations say exactly? The Academy regulations very clearly state that the examiner's word is law in the examination room, so... Wait, but you're the examiner. What's going on here? Good, you finally connected the dots. On my set, the director's word is law. Well, well, I... Uh, huh? Members of the cast, I've reached a consensus with the producers. This exam shall now be an audition. Are you ready? I will surely find the perfect role for you. Uh, Mr. Rekka is so amazing. He convinced the family so easily. That family member's reaction was strange. It's as if she suddenly changed her mind. Maybe she was just in awe of the director's aura? Hey, student with the gray hair, it's your turn. Go to the performing arts classroom. Uh, it's finally your turn. Hurry and go. If you finish early, don't forget to tell us how it went. Welcome to the audition. The audition process is simple. You need only answer a few questions. Of course, I won't be judging based on your answers alone. <laughs> I will be watching your every move on camera. I know you're Pentagoni's festive superstar, so I expect you to show me what you're made of. Scene one, take one, action. Hmm. Oh. Blech. This doesn't look right. Cut! Assistant Director! Change the scene, please. Okay, that'll do. <gasps> Let me see here. Perfect! You're born to be a performer! <laughs> You're confident. Good. A confident performer tends to delight the audience with surprises. Now, for the first question, please introduce yourself. Emphasizing your most respectable status to demonstrate your personal worth. Very astute. Okay, second question. What are you most proud of about yourself? Oh, I get what you the ability to not shy away from danger can bring great value when filmmaking. Now, for the third question. I'll let her do the honors. This is my assistant director, a reliable partner who's skilled at 
cinematography, script supervising, editing, and more. Has a better eye than me when it comes to casting performers. Mmm, a very perceptive question. <laughs> How do you respond? Oh, you were tactful in the face of someone making things difficult for you. However, the assistant director doesn't like to be praised for her appearance. Fine. Pretend I didn't say anything. She's very happy with your praise. Now, the final question. Nameless, your memory began on board a station of erudition, where you then boarded a train of trailblaze. In your journey, you witnessed the will of preservation, the determination of the hunt, and the dispute between harmony and order. You ran across many different sets and witnessed many different stories. Did you find a theme, or perhaps a dream, that belongs solely to you? It's only natural for a director to familiarize himself with the performer's resume before an audition. I see. Congratulations on having a clear goal. Your film will surely be a hit at the box office. Cut! You have finished your exam. Let's take a look at your results. Most of your answers were clever, like an astute producer. Combined with your experience in dealing with the Interastral Peace Corporation, the best academy for you is Fortune Academy. What do you think? Are you satisfied with your result? Very good. I'm grateful you're willing to listen to your director's suggestions. It's truly an honor. The audition is over. You are now a student of Fortune Academy. Here is your student card. in this campus is stirring. This is where your story begins. Don't disappoint me or the audience now, my dear leading character. Leading character? Drama? This Mr. Rekka says some strange things. Did you accept the assignment? Of course I did. He was all serious when he said I would encounter a future full of dramatic tension in Dreamweaver Academy. It made me really curious. Uh, it's no skin off my back anyway. So I thought I'd give it a shot. What about you two? What academy did you get? I heard lots of rich people come from Fortune Academy. Old classmate, don't forget me once you're rich. I'll be going to Charmony Academy. Oh my, I didn't know you had dreams of stardom, Tan Hung. <clears throat> it's because Mr. Rekka insisted. He's also a guest lecturer at Charmony Academy. It didn't feel right to refuse. All right, all right, I get it. You won over the big bad director with your superstar aura. You don't have to show off. Anyway, we're finally done with the admission process. Let's go check out the anniversary. How about we start with the creator's market that Montana mentioned? Oh, by the way, 
Mr. Rekka asked me about Bellabog. How did he know about that? He also asked about the Xianzhu Alliance. Maybe he saw it in the admission documents Himiko submitted. Oh, look, there's so many students here! And so many booths! Are they all set up by student clubs? <sighs> Let's get something to eat while we walk. Hello, and welcome to the dessert club. Dessert club? Did you make all these yourself? That's awesome! Thank you. Uh, I'm the club president, Shalika. Oh, did you? I don't really chat. So, how much for these desserts? No, but we're hosting a Dreamscape Patissier Challenge. Students can choose from the ingredients provided by the dessert club and design their own banana pie. Banana pie? Because of Slimmer Nana Monkey's popularity, all kinds of banana dishes have become popular. Please, give it a try. Well, in that case, you can do the design while Don Hung makes the dessert. What about you? I'll be the taste tester, of course. You got this. The first thing you must choose for your dessert is the banana. There are three types. The sour jade green banana from the Von Wok rainforests. The intense bloodthorn banana, commonly used as seasoning. And the extinct golden slum banana that was once popular across the universe, but now only exists in sweet dreams. This banana looks familiar. Next, we'll add some emotions to give the dessert its unique texture. This is also a feature unique to dreamscape cooking. Finally, for added flavor, we have Penacone Sweet Dream Icing, as Donna's specialty cinnamon and the hotel's special chili sauce. Um, why is there chili sauce? Because paper-fold university students come from many different planets. One of the members said they dip everything in chili back at home. The banana pie is complete. I'll start baking. Oh, it looks good. Time for the taste test. Oh, wow. This flavor. I've never tasted a banana this good. Oh, this dessert is so tasty. I feel so happy. Oh, there's also a unique spicy taste. Like a warm current spreading through my mouth. Awesome! <laughs> Looks like March 7th feels very strongly about your cooking. <laughs> It feels good when you create something that touches another person's heart, whether it's desserts or weaving dreams. You're a senior in Dreamweaver Academy? I'll be going there too. I'll be sure to ask if I have questions. Qu questions? Uh, uh, I'm not that good. You should ask them in Dreamweaving class. Huh? No, nothing. Uh, feel free to visit the other booths. <laughs> I hope you have a good time. Oh, look! It's Slumber Nana Monkey. Oh, uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to the Toys and Models Club. Oh, it's you guys. I, I'm Dylan Richie from the group chat. You can call me Richie. You know us? Of course. You're the festive superstar, the nameless, and Panacone's shareholders. Don't underestimate Fortune Academy's intelligence network. The paper fold forms were filled with the latest scoops before you even walked through the school gates. Someone with your eminent status must have a keen eye for consumer products. So, let me introduce you to the Toys and Models Club's best seller, the Slumber Nana Monkey figurine. Behold, the intelligence in its eyes, its soft, lustrous fur, it's lifelike appearance. It's just like having the real slumber nana monkey. Banana nana. Banana nana. 
The toy talks? This is the dreamscape. A regular toy won't draw the eyes of the consumer. So, Fortune Banana Advisor allowed me to add a little memoria to it. Look, isn't it as realistic as a memory zone meme? Well, I should let you know, there's only one left in stock, so act now and don't miss out. Only 8,800 Alpha Alpha credits. It's duty free and has a six month warranty. We also support payment with credits. Aw, oh, you called it before me. Hey, wonderful. Huh? Thank you for your purchase. Um, now I can afford living expenses this month. Ma, hurry and give us the monkey already. <laughs> the demand is too high right now. Uh, the toys you see here are all pre-order samples. There's still some time before the products officially ship. It's customary for new products to be available for pre-orders only. My apologies. Uh, don't worry. Once the product leaves the warehouse, I'll contact you. No, I'll personally deliver it to you. Uh, forget it. Let's visit the other booths. Huh? Why is there a crowd blocking the way? Uh, hi, excuse me. Can you move out of the way? Wait, don't go there. The disciplinary committee is searching for a student who broke school rules. Huh? Where's your school uniform? You're getting a demerit. New students? Then remember my face well. Be on your best behavior when I'm around. Wait, President, I've read about them on the paper fold forums. They're the Penacone shareholders who have come to visit. What? Penacone shareholders? My friends, I was just kidding earlier. Please, you three can go wherever you like. If the booths up ahead aren't enough, why don't you come visit my dorm or my home? Ugh, this one's attitude changed faster than the people you use clockwork on. Uh, what's going on with the student who broke school rules? <sighs> There's someone acting suspiciously and leaving graffiti on campus. They're dressed oddly, wearing a glowing scarf and speaking nonsense. Um, is that the person up ahead? <gasps> Darn, it's her! Ha! Found you! You're not getting away this time! Ninja and Nishikigaku, it seems our time of rest is coming to an end! You're right, Dazzling Ninja! They are the warriors of this land! No! They're the evil spirits drawn to our sins! Lamentable! My ninja speed isn't fast enough to outrun cause and effect! The ninja's blade can and must sever the chain! Your determination is admirable. Ninja Nishikigaku, you have already stepped into the ninja hero domain. <gasps> Do you hear that? Evil spirit be reduced to ashes before our ninjutsu! Huh? Are we going to fight? What are you waiting for, warriors? Fight us! Unbelievable! You, from the Performing Arts Club, that woman next to you is in big trouble. Don't become an accomplice. Oh, come on, just play along. The camera was rolling. So, is she a member of your club? No, I think she came from outside the campus. But look how in character she is. She's perfect. Shouldn't that arouse your suspicion? My meeting with Ninja Nishia Gagaku is purely happenstance. But I did not come here alone. These nameless ninjas are also my companions. Uh, do you know her? So she's a friend of the shareholders. That explains her behavior. Hey, what do you mean by that? Since you're a visitor, I'll let you off this once. Don't break school rules again. Ha! The tyrannical official retreated in the face of such extraordinary fighters. Put on your school uniform, or it's a demerit! Huh? Baseball Bat Ninja, it is good to see you again! This must be a fated reunion! 
It is a pleasure to meet both of you as well, Nameless Ninjas. I am Rappa, a.k.a. the Dazzling Ninja. Nameless Ninjas? Are you talking about the Nameless? Oh, we have names, you know. I'm March 7th, and he's Don Hung. What strong names! Greetings, Ninja Ruri and Ninja Hiryu. Uh... Um, my name is Don Hung. Understood, Ninja Hiryu Aoi Don Hung. <laughs> um, she's taking this really seriously. Is this what people call Chunibyo? Strange things happen across the cosmos. Maybe a Ninja 2 planet does exist. Is she the ninja you saw in your dream? Indeed. Baseball Bat Ninja and I are comrades who will risk life and limb for one another. We were besieged in the Fiendling Fantasia and survived together. Uh, it's not nice to eavesdrop on conversations. A ninja super hearing can capture even the death of a proton. You spoke loudly before me. I wasn't eavesdropping. You claim to be our companion? So, it's only reasonable to ask that you state your identity and purpose. Of course. That is exactly why I'm here. But before that, there is still justice to be upheld. I must prioritize assisting that cause. Oh, stupid student council! This is discrimination! Glad and get a free concert. You're still here! Thank goodness! Ninja Initiate Gagaku, what ails you? Stop calling me by the name of my character! Use my stage name, Nana Bloom John! Correct! My nickname in the group chat is Nana Bloom John. Hardworking edition. You know, I just realized how high caliber our new students are this year! Please, you absolutely must take part in the Performing Arts Club's Paperfold University Superstar Project Photography Challenge! Uh, that's... a really long name. This challenge requires you to take on the role of celebrity models. You'll choose a photographer who will take a photo that meets our requirements. We'll then print it into a photo book and send it to you. That sounds great! Let's take some photos together! If it is a trial prepared by Ninja Nishigigaku, I see no reason to refuse. Great! Now choose a photographer among yourselves. This challenge will put the photographer's skills to the test, more than the models. Then you're in charge of photography. Good luck! As for prop... <gasps> Let's use the Slumber Nana Monkey toy! All right, make sure you get all the models and the Slumber Nana Monkey in the shot. Ninja, your photo ninjutsu is exquisite! Oh, I envy how photogenic you all are. I want to be one of the stars featured in the Scorch Sand Audition, too. Forget it. Let's not talk about such depressing topics in the middle of festivities. Here's your photo book. Have fun! <sighs> no one will bother us anymore. Tell me, why have you been following us all this time? Very astute. It appears you have ninja superhearing too. However, following you was mere coincidence. My purpose for coming here is to set up dazzling ninja seals across the campus in order to dispel the evil ninja's matrix. The uh, seals? Oh, the graffiti the student from the disciplinary committee was talking about. Cause and effect is a wondrous thing. It allowed me to reunite with you, the nameless ninjas. Ninja Hiryu may not recognize me, but he must remember my colleague. A ninja hero clad in silver armor. He has a bold, easy confidence, is proficient in the use of bullet ninjutsu, and frequently spouts sweet and melodious words. Silver Gun Shura! Is it... Boot Hill? Precisely. 
Does that mean you're also a Galaxy Ranger? Of course! I didn't want to cause a misunderstanding, so I emphasize the title, Ninja Hero! They both mean the same thing? Well, so we now know who checked into the hotel. Uh, but why are the Galaxy Rangers revisiting the dreamscape? Ninja Hiryu, you and your companions are all elite ninjas who follow the true teachings of Trailblaze. You should know in the Cosmic Ninja Realm, there are many extraordinary individuals like me, but also evil ninjas. So long as the evil ninja still lives, danger that requires the presence of us ninja heroes will never cease. The reason I visit Penikami is to hunt down one such scoundrel. He wreaks havoc across the universe with his feelings in tow. He is the enemy of the ninja capital and my arch enemy, evil ninja Osaru. Uh -huh. Do you know what she's talking about? I can hear you. <sighs> this is troubling. If she really is a ranger, we have to take her story seriously. Perhaps something has happened in Panacone. The situation isn't clear. We shouldn't act rashly. After all, we're currently here as guest students. Hmm. It would help if we could get in touch with Boothill. I wonder where he is.